Hey guys, so I'm going to take off my mask so you can hear me a lot better. So welcome to our 8th annual Harvest Festival celebrating Apache Foodways. Um, my name is Shalitha Peaches, I'm the current distribution manager. So today I'll be showing you how to make acorn stew. Um, it's pretty basic, some key ingredients that you'll be needing would be um, the roast beef, um, any type of meat, it could be bison or elk, deer, whatever you want to, whatever meat you want to do, but just do a big roast. Um, acorn, um, if you are not allergic, so we have acorn, grind acorn, and then if you want to make bread on the side, you can also do that, and then uh, squash. And then if you want an additional one, you can do fresh uh, corn. So those would be the key ingredients that you'd be needing for this. Um, so last night I actually put the roast up so it can uh, get nice and soft. And so I was in this roast, or the slow cooker, and so I put the roast in and then I pretty much filled it all the way to the top. And the reason being is because I want to use the broth later on. And so um, that's pretty much what I did. And as you guys can see, um, the meat is pretty tender. And so that's pretty much what I wanted and it'll make it easier um, to shred up later on. And so um, pretty much, actually I just, just pretty much can skip the step if I wanted to. It just makes it a lot easier to shred it. Um, and so what I want to do is shred all this big meat up um, and just make it as much as possible, to shred it as much as possible. And then I'm going to add it onto the fire, which is going to be um, started outside later on. So we have this done. Um, this morning. So right now we're going to actually go right into the garden and we're going to harvest this fresh squash that we're going to add to this and then we'll kind of add everything together. So um, I have a harvesting knife here. This is clean and um, harvesting gloves just because these are some of the things that we have to do um, when we're harvesting here at the farm. So come on, let's go. Alright guys, so we're here in our plastic coop house. So we have a zucchini here. Um, so this is what we're gonna use today. Um, so I'm just gonna cut it slightly on top. Well, that works. This side is gonna work. Alrighty, so you want this size. Hey guys, so I just got done shredding the meat. Um, I don't know if you can look, but there's, as you can see, there's like the meat is shredded. So I just shred took the meat out, shredded it, and now I am gonna take it over to the stove, or the fire, and we're gonna add this to a bigger pot so we can feed more. Now we're just going to let it boil for an hour or so and see how it goes. Then we're going to add the squash. So. Uh, okay guys, so um, right now um, we're almost close to done. So right now the meat, squash, and corn have been mixed together and boiling for probably a good, I want to say 30 minutes. And so right before it's finished, I am actually going to be taking out some soup and I'm going to be mixing this with the acorn.
All right, so this is the soup. This is from the soup on there. And then this is the grind acorn. So one of the farm kings actually grind it earlier. So this is freshly grind. Um, some people like a huge amount. Um, for me, since I'm making it for the staff, I'm not gonna put that much. Um, you just put how much you would prefer. So, and the reason why I took this out and then is I'm adding it, the reason being is because of, I don't want there to be like big clumps of acorn inside of the stew. And so, since this is gonna be added, it's gonna be a lot thicker, um, just because we're adding it to a bigger amount. Um, and just keep in mind, guys, this is your preference on how much acorn you want in your stew. And people, there's a lot of people that have their different ways of making this, so this is just one way that I learned. Um, there is actually a really old style way of making it, and it has to deal with um, beating the meat with a rock, and you can uh, marinate it with kind of like an acorn, kind of like marinating it into your acorn. Um, that way is really good as well. That's actually a really old way. Um, really, really old practice by our, our elders. Um, I remember my grandpa telling me about that. So, uh, yeah, so this is just one way. So just be open-minded about this way of making it. <laughs> Okay guys, so I just got done wisping um, some of this in here. So since I kind of did a bigger portion, this is a little bit thicker. Um, I tried to get as much as the bigger clumps as I could whisk together. Um, I think the rest of it is just small, like meat. And so I am about done whisking this in. Now we are gonna go over to the bigger pot. guys and that's how you make a corn stew.